Hi, I'm Daytha Rogers, real estate agent with Relative Key Realty in St. Charles County, Missouri. Now that 2024 is here, many of you are starting to think about selling your homes this spring. You may not be sure how much this will cost or even what the cost will be, so I want to give you an idea of what some of those expenditures are so that you can plan ahead. Try to keep in mind that each upfront cost is an investment to help you make more money when selling your home. Unfortunately, I cannot give you an exact number of how much it will cost, but I can uh, give you ranges, average ranges, on what some, some of these costs will be so that you do not have too many surprises. The first cost I will list is the agent commission, which is predominantly on people's minds. The agent commission, on average, ranges from 5 to 8%. This will vary depending on the agent and how much the agent pays for upfront out of pocket for marketing costs for you. The second cost on my list is repairs and updates done to the home. Some of these will be done prior to listing the home and then after the buyer has an inspection done of the home, they may re request that some additional repairs be performed before they will continue through with the purchase of the home. These costs will vary and will depend on your individual situation. Thirdly, marketing the, co the home costs as well. Marketing should include professional photographs, which are between two to four hundred dollars. And keep in mind that the photographs are the first and most important tour of the home because these are what will entice the buyer to view the home. Another marketing cost would be staging. Staged homes make more money and sell faster than non-staged homes. Staging could mean occupied staging or vacant staging. And the initial cost for this could range on average from $250 for an occupied staging consultation up to $6,000 for a vacant stage. The, then the vacant stager will typically charge a monthly fee after the initial cost. While I'm on this topic, I wanna to share that I personally have a high level of skill in occupied staging, so this is something I like to do for my sellers to help them save a little bit of money. Another possible marketing cost could be videos, which would range from 200 to about $2,000 on average, and P uh, make a point of knowing that larger homes with larger lots could greatly benefit from aerial footage of the photo of the home and a walkthrough on video of the home. Another expense would be the closing costs. These are fees that the buyer and the seller pay to help facilitate the closing. For the seller, these fees are one to two percent of the home sale price. Closing costs could include escrow, closing fees, document recording fees, and might include paying for the title insurance policy, which would come up during negotiations. And finally, there are some items that should be paid at close, it would be paid at closing that are not part of the title company or mortgage company fees. If there's a lien against the property, this would need to be paid off at closing so that you have the right to sell the home. And if there is an existing mortgage on the home, that would be paid at closing as well. So there are a number of things that sellers pay for, but hopefully in the end it will be worth it. And in today's market, it is very likely that sellers will make a significant profit when they sell their homes. I hope this has been helpful. Help, helpful. Feel free to reach out to me at 737 471-4083 or at Relative Key Realty at 314-628-8221. Thank you so much. Have a great day.